Hello everyone, my name is Victor. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Bored. Today I am on a different walking route that my brother introduced me to yesterday that is about three times longer than my usual one. So that does a great thing for my exercise. So I'm going to be using this one for now. The goal of today's video is to pick some fresh rose hip and make wild rose hip tea out of it. So I got this little bucket today, I don't need that much, I'm just going to make like one or two cups of tea to try it out, uh, because I've never done it before. So I'm just going to pick some, see you in a bit. So um, I've only picked a handful from those bushes, but I decided to move on because I know for sure that there is going to be more bushes along the way. And well, my shoes are quite muddy now because of the unstable footing and it's stuck under my shoes which doesn't feel nice. But lucky for me, there is a solution. There's a little dock down here that I can walk down to and possibly, uh, you know, clean my shoes. <laughs> Chances are you're not here for that, so if you want to skip the foraging part, just jump right to the T. I'll put the timestamp down in the uh, corner somewhere, so you can just jump right to the tea making. Here seems to be a little better spot because there's actually grass and a little bridge so I can I can reach these better now these bushes were a little bit um, More plentiful so I picked about two or three handfuls from these and look that is just Beautiful we're gonna make some nice tea out of that. I just need to first avoid the mud and then get down to uh, the water so I can wash off my my shoes a little bit luckily the beach is nice and easily accessible don't worry my shoes are pretty water resistant but this does feel much much better but right, let's focus on the walk and the foraging for now boy do I need a stabilizer And then behind me, you just got solid rock. But on top of it, a lush forest. I don't know if it's swan or geese, but they're out there and they're beautiful. I think if we all learn to just slow down and appreciate nature every now and then, even if you live in a big city, just going to a park or seeing where nature is still thriving uh, in even in that environment we'll all be a little bit happier time for another half a handful of berries sorry rose hips all right it's looking nice but i better calm down because i don't need that much for now and we still have more than half of the walk left now obviously there are you know much much more on the bushes uh, that I could have picked but since it's not a matter of survival for me at the moment I would prefer leaving some for others who might want to pick some and some for nature here's someone's field I quite like the Swedish landscape when the, the fields are surrounded by forest it shows that we didn't have as much possible farmland as other countries uh, I mean we have more now that we have different cultivation techniques and you know we can literally blast away little mountains but I don't think we should because it's beautiful as it is now the weather is turning a little bit worse so you know, I think I got what I need so I'm just gonna focus on getting us back to the kitchen and I'll see you guys over there peace
and now you just enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like, it really helps me out. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more, that also helps me out. And comment any future suggestions for projects to help me fight my boredom. Peace.